In this video, I'm going to share with you eight mind-blowing Photoshop effects in less than eight minutes. So without further ado, let's dive into Photoshop. Okay, so this first effect I'm going to show you is how to create something called a film halation effect. So first, we're going to duplicate our layer by pressing Control or Command J. Next, we're going to come up here to Image, Adjustments, and hit Threshold, and then move this slider over to the right so that only a few parts of the image are still showing in white. Once you have something like this, we're going to come up to Filter, Blur, and add a Gaussian blur. And now we're gonna come over here and change the blending mode to screen. And as you can see, we now have this nice glowing vintage effect. Now this actually looks pretty good already, but to get that film halation effect, we want this glow to have a faded red tone. So we're gonna come down here and add a red solid color layer, clip that to the top layer like this, and finally change the blending mode of the red layer to either overlay or soft light. And that's all there is to it. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the world and it also means I can keep making videos like this. So for this next effect, we're going to create what I like to call a gradient sky effect like this. So we're going to come up here to select and hit select sky. And now that we have a selection of our sky, we can hold down alt to add a layer mask to hide the sky like this. Next, we're going to click this button to add a new layer. And for this next step, we're actually going to go into the brush tool. So we need a bigger brush than this. So let's use the square bracket keys to change the size of the brush. And let's also come up here and make sure the brush is set to 0% hardness as well. So now using a black brush, we're going to paint onto this empty layer and then keep painting onto the layer using three more colors to create a pretty simple pattern like this. And the colors that you use here don't really matter too much because we're going to change them in a moment anyway. So the next thing we need to do is convert this layer to a smart object. Come up here to filter and we're going to go into this liquify tool here. And let's set the density and pressure to 100 and we also need to make sure this pin edges box is checked and now we can just swirl around the colors like this until we get something that we're happy with okay so i think that's going to work quite well so we can just hit okay and move this layer behind the original image and last but not least we're going to add a gradient map adjustment layer and clip that to the bottom layer like this now let's click into the gradient map editor and add a gradient map like this and that's all there is to it and if you do want to download some gradient maps like these I'll leave a link to my free gradient map pack in the description below. So next up is actually quite a simple and beginner friendly effect. So the first thing we're going to do is create a very simple shape like this. And then we're going to duplicate our image or our background layer and move it above the shape layer. Now we just need to clip this top layer to the shape layer like this. Next up, we're going to add some filters to this top layer. So we need to convert it into a smart object. And we're going to come up to filter, blur, and add a Gaussian blur filter. Now we don't need to add anything too crazy so let's just set that about here hit okay and we're also going to add a little bit of noise as well so again let's keep that fairly subtle and now with the top layer still selected we're going to go to filter and filter gallery and let's go into this distort menu and select this glass option here and these settings up here kind of depend on the image and the size of your canvas but i like setting the distortion around 11 or 12 and the smoothness around 5. so now we just hit okay and you can see that this area here now has has a blurry glass effect, but it's actually the next step that makes all the difference. So we're going to right click on the shape layer and go into blending options. And let's add a drop shadow like this and also a very subtle inner glow as well. And we just need to make sure that the inner glow is set to white and hit OK. And there we have it. So we now have this glass box effect that we can freely move around the Photoshop project. OK, so I absolutely love this next effect. So we're going to start off by going into filter and hit filter gallery. And for this one, we're actually going to layer a few different filters on top of each other. So the first filter we're going to add is a halftone pattern effect. And we're actually going to change this setting up here to circle. And we also want to change this size setting so that we get these smaller contrasting lines like this. And next, we're going to hit this plus button to add a new filter and add this graphic pen option here. And let's set the stroke length to about three or four and change the light balance to bring out as much detail as possible. Finally, we're going to add a film grain effect and we want this one to be quite subtle so let's set the grain to about three or four and we now have this grungy halftone effect with this really cool circular pattern so for this next effect we're going to start off by duplicating our image going to select and select subject and now that we have a nice selection of our subject we're going to 
add a layer mask to the new layer. Next, we're gonna select the text tool and create some very simple text like this and move that to the center of the canvas. Now let's duplicate our text layer and drag one of these text layers in between our image layers like this. Next, we need to select our top layer and reduce the fill to zero. Right click the layer and go into the blending options. Now select this stroke panel and just copy these settings to add a thin white stroke around the text. And finally, we can just hit okay. And by selecting these two text layers, we now have this effect that we can freely move around the canvas. Okay, so for this next effect, we're gonna create some unique liquid chrome shapes like this. So first we need to create an oval shape layer. And now let's come down here and select gradient overlay. Let's go for something like this. And we now need to add a bevel and emboss effect as well. Now you can more or less copy these settings, but just make sure you don't forget to set this option to this wavy looking shape here. Now let's select this contour option and choose this slightly less wavy shape here. So now let's click okay. And this is actually where things get pretty interesting. So we're gonna add a layer mask and select the eraser tool. And first we just need to make sure that this hardness setting is set to zero. And now with the layer mask selected, we can just drag our mouse through the shape like this. And finally, we can right click the shape and hit this warp option. And now we can just warp our shape however we like to create these crazy chrome shapes. And if you want, you can add a little bit of noise to add a nice grainy finish. Okay, so this next one might actually be my favorite effects on this entire list. So we're gonna start off by creating a thin selection down the image like this. Then let's hit Control or Command J to create a new layer from that selection. Now we need to press Control or Command T to go into the free transform tool. And holding Shift, let's drag the new layer we created over to the side like this. Next, we need to add a layer mask. Come over here and select the gradient tool. And now just drag your mouse over the layer mask so that it fades out nicely like this. Finally, we want to add a little bit of noise to this side of the image. So to do this, we actually need to create a separate noise layer. So let's just come up here to layer and create a new layer. And now we need to set this blending mode to overlay and check this box down here. And now just convert this layer to a smart object and go to filter, noise, add noise and add as much noise as you want to the image. Lastly, we want to make sure that this noise is only applied to the right hand side. So let's add a layer mask to the noise layer. And again, let's select the gradient tool and drag our mouse over the layer like this. And that's all there is to it. And by the way, shout out to this incredible photographer for the original image. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to turn any image into a detailed line drawing like this. So first we need to turn our layer into a smart object and then come up here to filter, stylize, and select find edges. Next, let's add a simple black and white adjustment layer. And finally, add a curves adjustment layer and drag the curve over to the bottom right like this until you get something that you're happy with. And you can now see that we have this realistic pen drawing of our original image. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.